Hey, what's going on, people? So, um, I am here to talk about Marvel's Iron Fist, so, um, and I'm gonna keep these reviews as spoiler-free as possible. So, um, um, so with that all being said, I'm just gonna dive right into it. Um, I gotta say, when, um, when they first sort of announced that this show is gonna happen, and then there was this little uproar about the Wii character being white, um, I didn't know anything about Iron Fist before. I didn't know if, you know, what the uproar was about. I mean, I kind of assumed <laughs> that, the, um, I mean, like when I heard that uproar about him, about the, you know, Danny Rand being white, I thought at first, before I did my research on the character, that he was Asian at first, and then he decided to change it over to him being white for the show. And I was starting to, um, I was starting to wonder why would they do that <laughs> and then I, and I said you know what I'm gonna do my research on the character then I saw that Danny Rand was always white you know like you know he's they didn't change anything about you know Danny Rand I mean like as far as his natural as far as his nationality goes so I'm like um okay I mean like people don't have to like the fact that you know that he's white but I mean, come on. I mean, that's like saying, it's like saying, why does, you know, Leroy in The Last Dragon have to be black? I mean, like, I mean, seriously, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't always have to be Asians, you know, like when they're doing Kung Fu and everything like that. I mean, but anyway, and as far as the show goes, I mean, the first few episodes were pretty, were a little slow, but I mean, as I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, like, I don't see what makes the show boring. I mean, there is, like, this is not the only comic book show where the lead character's talking about, you know, like, where there's business talk, you know? I mean, like, we gotta get to know the character full on. Not just him as the Iron Fist, but him as Danny Rand, too. I mean, I mean, even with De Daredevil, like, where they've done that, like, where we see Matt Murdock as the lawyer and him as Daredevil at night. You know, I mean, like, it, this is no different. I mean, they've done that in many superhero movies, too. I mean, where they talk about business and, and believe me, nope, the whole business talk premise, you know, like, no, nope, nobody is bored by that aspect more than me. But usually when, when it's in these comic book, like, stories, um, I... You know I sink my teeth into it because it's part of the character and it's part of what in the character's world and I just want to get to know it as much as possible and I don't see anything wrong with it as slow as the few episodes were but when you get past them it's very rewarding and it's definitely worth you know definitely worth the ride and um, I don't see I mean critics are really really pathetic <laughs> they are very pathetic and i don't see how this how iron fist is a weak link in this little lineup with the marvel netflix universe he's not he's a fine you know addition to you know like to this you know assembly line you know what i mean or um well not assembly line but you know you, you get where i'm going like as he's like a fine addition to the defenders that's better. That's a much better way to put it. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. I mean, like, I, I have a feeling like the more I watch Iron Fist, the, you know, like, the more I'll learn about him. I mean, I, I feel like I, there's some things I'm still trying to learn more about. So, um, and, and it's from what I, I can see, like, if I were, or I'll say this, if I were a tr real true fan, um, I guess a real hardcore fan of Iron Fist, I probably would have more disappointments with some parts of it, but since I'm just diving into this with an open mind and I don't have any problem with it, and there's one thing I would have liked that is from the comic to be shown into the show, but they do have a one little nod to that. You know, like, you know, like um, if you've seen the show, then you know what I'm talking about. But, um... I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a fine show, and I liked how it plays around with the idea of, like, that Danny, you know, cannot trust anybody around him. <laughs> like, he really cannot trust anybody. I mean, like, it really toys with his mind as it, as it, it's toying with the, with the viewer's mind, like, where you're trying to figure out who can Danny really trust here as 
he's basically you know a weapon to in a sworn enemy to like to a, a, um another group you know um and and it's like okay like who can you trust and then madame gal is a, you know a part of this she plays a bigger role into the show than she did in daredevil and i, I really like I, I really do appreciate that and um and yeah i mean i i actually wanted a little bit more of her <laughs> But she does play a bigger, bigger role into this show than she did in Daredevil. And um, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen her in the trailers. If you've seen the trailers for the show, then you know that she is going to be in the show. And if you didn't know, then I'm sorry. Then I guess that was a spoiler. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's the only thing I'm going to tell you, though. And, and I got to say... <laughs> You know, I love the Marvel ref references that they throw into this show. And one reference was a little bit overused where I'm like, okay, can, 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 can they just stop with that? <laughs> I mean, once once was okay, but and, and then they kind of do it again and again. And I'm like, come on, it's getting repetitive. Don't do that. <laughs> but I mean, hey, I mean, I actually, I really enjoy the show, even though like, one comic book element I would have liked for them to have put in there, you know, in the sh you know like in the sh in the show I would have liked for them to have, but still I mean it doesn't keep me from just really enjoying the show, and I, and I dare say that this is more of a martial arts, uh, more of a martial arts like grounded than Daredevil is, and Daredevil is pretty grounded with that stuff, but I'd say this is a bit more grounded like where. Where the character Danny Rand is like when you see him, he's focusing on his chi and he's meditating and he's listening to music and he's doing his thing, you know, like this and, and all that. And and it, it, I mean, like I, I'd say like if you enjoy that kind of stuff and if you enjoy the Marvel Netflix um, universe, I'd say don't I mean don't boycott this don't girl caught this I mean watch it it's worth a shot I mean if you enjoyed Daredevil Jessica Jones and Luke Cage then I think this will be no different and honestly I thought people were gonna were not gonna like Jessica Jones like because you know she wasn't also a, not a real well-known comic book character but they they welcomed her with open arms and Danny Rand slash Iron Fist does not deserve any less than that. So with that all being said, this gets four and a half chair spins out of five. One, two, three, four and a half chair spins. So, um, I may, I mean, like, I have a feeling like it's gonna be like the Matrix, where, like, when you watch, the more you watch it, the more you learn about it. So that's what I'm thinking. That's why I can. That's part of why I'm not really going into spoilers. So. Um, but yeah, I'd say you need to check it out, and and it, and it's like, and I like how it's trying to, I like how it's kind of setting up for what may for what may happen in the Defenders, and and like, and I like how all of these all of these shows give su the supporting characters time to shine. Like Daredevil did it, Jessica, <coughs> excuse me, Jessica Jones did it, Luke Cage did it, and this show did it as well, where it doesn't just focus on Danny Rand. And and Colleen Wing, she is freaking awesome. She is awesome. And and Ward Meacham, I can't stand him. <laughs> I can't stand that guy. He is he is like um de definitely a top class douchebag. <laughs> I mean, he talks like a douchebag. He acts, you know, he behaves like one. He dresses like one. And you know, it's just like I, when I hear his voice, it's just like oh. Uh, cringy as fuck <laughs> I mean the actor playing him you know plays him very well and he plays and he brings that douchebaggeriness to the character like and it fits like a glove but the character I mean it's just annoying Ugh. <laughs> but yeah I mean I'd say get off your high horse watch Iron Fist you know get yourself ready for um the defenders I mean come on you're you know don't don't you know don't try to miss out just because you know, you know, just because of, you know, a bunch of butthead or a bunch of asshole, like, critics are like, Oh, this is terrible and boring, and blah, 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 he's white, and blah, 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 blah. I mean, watch it. Take it from me. Watch it. This is not for the critics. This is for us nerds, everything. So, get off your high horse. Go watch it. It's on, it's on Netflix. Start bang-watching. 
So if you guys enjoyed my review on Iron Fist, make sure you thumb up the video and make sure you click subscribe if you're a newbie to the channel. Thank you for watching and man, we are like Nen on to the Defenders. <laughs> I almost said Avengers, but on to the Defenders. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>